All right, shalom to the nation of Israel and to the whole for elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem means in the name. And Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give the honors to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, telling me this truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, and to you brothers out there, Christian's truth. It's the brother Barakim from the GMS branch out of Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another video of the Holy Spirit. And, uh, in this lesson, just wanted to go into, you know, how the Lord uh, uh, compares us to uh, to gold, you know, being uh, uh, being tried and being refined, you know, uh, in the fire and, and the inflictions, man. You know, so just want to go into that pretty much. Lord's willing, this video is edifying. This is Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. OK, so uh, the Lord is telling us that. Uh, uh, he will make a man more precious than than fine gold. All right, how is going? How is the Lord going to make us uh, more precious than fine gold? All right, because with fine gold, it has to go through a process called refining. You know, Lord's will. I'm. Uh, I want to grab this article. You know, to go into that and uh, explain the process. You know, but it goes to a process of refining. All right, and the, and the Lord is doing the same thing with us, man. You know, we're being refined periodically, man. You know, and that's through uh, uh, the trials and tribulations that we go through, you know. So uh, I want to grab this article. And um, I'm just get really the main points uh, within this, you know, uh, is articles called My Gold Guide uh, titled um, Trial by Fire, Gold Refining. All right. Just to uh, give a better understanding of um, the process of gold being refined. All right. So it says uh, once upon a time, your favorite gold necklace was part of a bunch of other metals congealed together in a rock. When the gold is mined, it is barely discernible as the metal we have come to love. It is, in fact, what experts called an ore. An ore can have a high or a low amount of gold content depending on where it was extracted. It says goldsmiths use cyanide to extract the gold from ores, forming something called a door. Onward to the next stage, the door has to go through a trial by by fire at a refinery in an exciting process called refining. All right. And I want to grab this definition as well. You know, I'm going to grab it in the etymon uh, for the definition of refine or refining. Same thing. It says to bring or reduce to a pure state or a condition of purity as full as possible okay so the lord is bring <laughs> the lord is bringing us uh, uh uh to a pure state you know and that's through the the the, the trials the temptations you know because it says what the the trial of a man is in his reasoning all right so uh, uh we're being presented with these different trials and tribulations these hardships are right? it's, it's ultimately to prove us all right, it's to prove uh, 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 how we how we uh, how we think, you know. It, it, it's to prove us, man, you know, and that's what we need. You know, we need to be purified, and, and no, actually, I take that back. That's what we want. All right, we want to be purified uh, uh, through the chastisement, you know, through the uh, 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 through the afflictions of the Lord, man. All right, because you could be tried by that type of fire, or you could be tried by those uh, thermal thermal nuclear fires, man, to be refined and to be brought back uh, 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 in the kingdom. All right, through the loins of the elect, man. You know, but that's not what we want, man. We want to be refined and um, and tried on this side, you know, and and and, and to uh, to respond uh, uh, um, in the way that pleases the Lord, you know, so then we don't have to see that judgment, man. You know. But um, going back into that article, it says um, it says in an exciting process called refining, it is reliquified in a furnace and then heaped with generous amounts of soda, ash and borax. It says this effectively separates the gold from impurities and other and other metal traces. And that's the same thing with us, man. You know, those trials, the tribulations, it, it, uh, um, it, it takes away the, uh, the impurities within us, man. You know, it's, it, it, cut, it cuts off that old man, our old ways, you know. And like I said, that's what we need, man. We don't want to be uh, uh, continue being the same old man that we used to be, you know. Right? We're supposed to be uh, uh, um, uh, growing, you know, not only uh, 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 mentally, you know, but, uh, but spiritually, man. We should be growing uh, uh, spiritually, spiritual. We should be asking for spiritual growth, 
you know. But uh, let me see. That's it on that. We can jump back to the precepts. Um, let's grab this in the book of uh, First Peter. First Peter chapter one and verse seven. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than a gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, so hey, so that's uh, shows you, you know, uh, um, that we're going to be tried through uh, through the fire, you know, and like I said, you know, like I was explaining before, you know, that the fire is uh, uh, the afflictions, you know, it talks about that in the book of Sirach, you know, Lord's will, I'm gonna grab that um, um, uh, later on, you know, but it says, whom having not seen ye love, and whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice. Enjoy unspeakable and full of glory. Okay, so um, from there, let's go to the book of uh, St. Matthew. Chapter, oh, chapter three and uh, verse 11. All right. And this is uh, John the Baptist speaking. It says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. All right. And as he's, he's talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, whose shoes I am not. I am not worthy to bear. It says he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay. So hey, that's what, so that's what the Lord is doing, man. He's baptizing us with the fire. You know. Let's grab this in uh in that Sirach. It says Sirach chapter two. Uh yeah, I'll just get straight to the point. It says uh verse five, it says, For gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay, so go, you know, jumping back into that article, it says how gold uh, uh, has to go through the refining pro uh, refining process, and it's uh, uh, reliquified, and uh, has to go through the furnace. You know, and it says here that uh, acceptable men, all right, uh, in order to be accepted unto uh, uh, in the eyes of in the eyes of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, it says we have to be uh, put into that furnace of adversity, man. All right, that, that that trial, man, that fire, man, you know, to be tried, you know, to be proven, you know, that that we are the men of the Lord, man, you know. So uh, let's go to. Uh, um, I'll grab this and I'll pretty much just end it here. Didn't want to make it too long, but uh, this is Hebrews chapter. Hebrews chapter 12. In uh, verse six, it says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. It says, if ye endure chastising, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. And what son is he whom the Father chast chasteneth not? Okay, so you know uh, uh, we're being chastised, man. You know, and, and that's and that's good, man, because it says, uh, whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, man. You know, and, and that's a good thing, man, to be to uh, uh, to be put in. Uh, uh, through affliction, the the to be to be put through adversity, you know, to be proven, you know, hey, we're trying to be proven to be the uh to the men uh, to be proven the men, uh, slack you, tongue tied. We uh we're um we are being proven to be the men of the Lord, man, you know. So so we need those uh, uh those chastisement, man. We we want the Lord to chast uh, chastise us, you know, rather than to uh send His judgments and you know His wrath upon us, man. To be corrected. Who wants to be corrected through the Lord's wrath, man? You know, <laughs> we're trying to be on the good side, man. You know, but um, um, verse eight, I read it. It says, uh, but if you be without chastisement, whereof all, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. All right. So you know that's pretty much the point, man. You know, uh, us going through that fire, man. The, the those trials to to perfect us, man, you know, to purify us, you know, so, uh, Lord's willing, this video is edifying, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahshah, by Shem Rechakwadash, double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of the Great Millstone, tell me this truth and on down, peace and blessings to you brothers and to you, all, and I, uh, I, that's out there pushing this truth, until next time, Shalom.